What's going on guys? Tom Cox, IFBB Pro here back on FitFluent X channel and we got a quick workout tip for you today. So this is something that I would do at the end of a push day where you're either working chest, shoulders, still hit your heavy hypertrophy training anywhere from like 8 to 12, doing two or three top sets, working sets, all that still has to fall into place before you do this. But this is something where you can get that little bit extra out of your workout, just a, a good finisher is what I like to call it. We're gonna start with cable flies, cable crossover. I like doing these with a bench support, just so it puts pure isolation on the chest. I don't have to worry about keeping my core stabilized with the movement. So here I'm looking at doing anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Really good stretch, good squeezes at the top. You can see how my chest is being activated with this constant tension when using the cables. And then from here, after performing those 15 reps, you may need to drop the stack a notch. We're gonna come out here in the front, and we're doing with a scooping motion. Really targeting that upper pec. Squeeze. I'm thinking about pushing my hands up to about eye level, and the inside of my bicep should be rubbing the outside of my pec. Almost like I'm pushing my elbows together at the top. Hitting these also for 10 to 15 is the goal. And wait, there's more from here. Directly after finishing that, you're gonna find some space and go into push-ups. And I'm not talking about those push-ups where elbows are out here, you're pushing through your shoulders. I'm talking about all the way, full range of motion, chest to the floor, driving through the chest. These I want you to do to a failure. Keep in good form to your chest completely hits the ground. You can't push yourself up anymore. And there's more from here. I want you to stand up. And this, you might get some weird looks in the gym with this, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Pushing blood into this chest, we're gonna do like a bodybuilding most muscular, flex. So pushing your hands together, shoulders back, chest out front, squeeze, and hold this pose. Anywhere from 10, 15 seconds, squeezes, it's not comfortable. You might feel like you're getting a little nauseous, about to pass out, get lightheaded. But that's really pushing a lot of blood to the muscle, helps volumize the muscle. Ending your workout with a crazy pump, and of course, FST7, you're doing that seven rounds with a little rest in between. So with the, after doing all of that, I would rest about a minute, go back into it again, seven sets. So that's where FST7 comes from. Fascia stretch training, seven for seven reps. But I've also heard it called fuck this shit training. Let us know what you think, try it out. Comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe. Till next time.